Hi, my name is Tara. Welcome to my channel. So today I am recreating Nomi Malone from Showgirls. It's been one of my favorite hair and makeup looks forever. So I didn't like, I'm not totally doing the hair, just a little bit. But if you wanna see how I recreated this look, keep watching. Let's just get into it. So a lot of different looks from the movie that I love. So I've chosen one and it may end up being kind of like a mesh of a few different looks. So let's get started. So the Nomi looks are very powdery, very matte, and there is some like highlighter used. So I'm gonna start with the Eminence Stone Crop Hydrating Mist. I've already prepped my skin. I did a little peel and I did some serums. I'm gonna use a lot of moisture because I'm gonna be putting on a lot of product because it's gonna be a stage show grow look. So I'm gonna use my Embryo Lease and I like to just kind of pack this on. You can also leave this on as a mask, they say. I'm just gonna get it all over. Just get the skin nice and moisturized. Be generous with the moisturizer. I'm gonna use my fingertips and just massage that in. And in one of these videos, I will show you my prep and skincare routine. I will also put on some Balm de la Mer. Here's my finger. I only use this on myself, so. To get my lips nice and prepped for later. Just put a thick layer of that on. I'm gonna mix together a few of these radiating primers. I'll show you what they are. So I'm gonna do a little of this Glam Glow Glow Starter in Nude Glow. It has like a really nice uh, sheer radiant texture. So it's really, really beautiful. A little bit of that. A little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime in Natural Radiance. And these are all sample sizes that you can just go and ask for. It has a little bit of a yellowish hue. A little bit of the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance as well. See, that looks like that. And top it off with a little Clos de Peau Beauty Smoothing Base for Lines. Now this one, you'll see, comes out very white. So in the earlier parts of the movie, Nomi has a very like, kind of like a Marilyn makeup. And so I'm kind of going with that from my base. And then I'm gonna add like the jeweled dramatic parts on top. I'm going very radiant for the primer so that when I pack all these powders and things on top, there's still a glow to the skin underneath. I want the makeup to be matte, but still look like skin and dewy. I love a stipple brush for a lot of things for creams. And then I kind of finish it off by using my hands. And you can also take this opportunity to kind of give yourself or your client a nice little facial massage for lymphatic drainage. Try to take down any puffiness and it feels very relaxing and nice. Going up and around the orbital bone and the cheekbones. Up and along the jawline. And with the slip of the products on your fingers, it really makes it more comfortable and smoothing. <laughs> All right, that's nicely soaked in, but there's still also a nice layer of product on the skin. And that's due. So, since she is a showgirl and she's gonna be on stage, I do wanna give a slightly heavy coverage and I want it to be bright on the high points of the face, so lighter. So, that being said, I have some little samples of foundation, I think I'm gonna give a little try to. 
and mix them in with colors and formulas I am familiar with. And I am going to use face tapes. So I'm going to apply the foundation and then I'm going to put the face tapes on. I'm going to do a little backwards. All right, this is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in two. And that looks like a lot warmer than my skin. Makeup Forever Ultra HD in R230. Okay, that is closer to what we're going for. These Kevin Aquan Central Skin. These Tom Fords that I, I'm obsessed with. The lightest I have is two. That's great, that's the Pale Dune. I'm gonna give this a little mix and see what happens. And I'm gonna do something a little bananas here. <laughs> and I'm going to mix in, because we are being showgirls today, I'm gonna mix in just a dab of these Cover FX Glitter Drops in Mirage. It just sounds super Vegas. So first I'm going to swirl these together, which I do a little stippling effect so that they're all as one. And then I'm going to just give it a little drop. Maybe a little extra for good measure. Because most of these pictures and stuff, she is quite glittery. And just kind of like go to town because we're showgirls, okay? Bring it down the neck. So I don't have any weird lines. So in order to get the rest of it to kind of roll into the skin, I'm gonna take a beauty blender, like so. And I'm gonna give it a little spritz. This just kind of helps it join forces and spray on the face. And just start rolling it in there. All right, that looks quite lovely. I'm into that. I'm gonna start the face tapes so we can kind of get a better picture of where we're at. And take my little cotton and my 91% alcohol. So I have this little blister pack of Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I'm gonna use this to conceal and shape the face with concealer. I'm gonna start with this one, it's 1N. It's not like super light on me, so I might need to go a little fairer. I'm gonna actually put on some of this shape tape in fair neutral as like our really, really light parts. You really don't need a lot of the shape tape, but I'm going a little more over, overboard than I normally would. All right, let's go into two and medium and see how dark that is. See if we're at contour yet. Not quite. All right, I'm gonna go three N. That's this one. We're almost there. This might give us like a soft casual contour. I think I'll mix that with the 4N. All right, we're gonna do a little 4N, a little 3N, and give us a little, how do you do? In this look, the highlight, the hollows of her cheeks like here are super hollowed. All right, so just from looking at this picture, I feel like I need a little more pizzazz right here. Here, she's got it. And even right here. And I'm done, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start with the lighter parts. Don't be afraid to get your lips concealed because we are doing a very nude lip. So removing your own lip color is not a bad thing in this situation. Or really in any if you're doing um, a lip color. Alright, I'm going to give myself another spritz of this rose water setting spray. And then I'm gonna take this guy again, rolling into it. Today I decided I wanted to use this tinted brow gel. This is Brunette by Anastasia, but it, as you can see, it's like 
It's not like the dark brunette I used last time. It's more of like a coppery. And I'm gonna like brush it directly onto my brow, but only where I have hairs. And the cover effects, custom enhancer drops in moonlight, they're really pretty. Now we're gonna get some loose powders. So this is Becca Hydra Mist Set in Refresh Powder. And it has a bit more pigment to it, which is nice. And then we have one of my favorites, which is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Powder. This is really good if you get oily at all, which I do. And it really just like soaks up the oil and kind of keeps it soaked up so you don't get super greasy. So I'm gonna take my little beauty blender, guys, because I find they're really good to like put a lot of powder on. Kind of like baking. So first I'm rolling into this Becca one, the set and refresh powder. This is like my first set. I don't want it to look heavy, but I do want it to look matte. You know, even when she's rehearsing everything, it's like her body is slicked in oil, but her face is matte. Now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte powder, which is, has more like a white cast. And we'll keep that on. Ideally, it keeps the fallout of what we do in the eyes from messing up what we've done in the face. So next, the eyes. I'm gonna do the brows. I'll start with the NARS number five and my mystery brow palette, which I always dip into the darkest and the middle. I'm gonna carve out my brows. I'm gonna try to make them kind of like no maze shape because it gets me that first basic shape just like snatched out. So Nomi's shape is a little more closer in. Try to soften it a bit here and then it comes back down which mine does not with the face tapes on so we're gonna cheat it. So I'll make a fake peek right there. So that looks pretty good to me. I think I'll darken up the tails a little with a pencil. I'm gonna use Warm Blonde. This is the Kevin Aquan pencil, they're the best. I'm gonna go back in now with the Brunette Precision Brow Pencil by Kevin Aquan. The cut crease is quite dark. I'm gonna use this ColourPop, and this Natasha Denona ones that have more neutral matte colors to just like build a cut crease. All right, so I'm just gonna start with like a nude base. I'm gonna go over them with this Natasha Denona color here. And I'm doing that just up into the socket. Because I want all this to be matte as much as my instincts are wanting me to do a glitter fest, I have to remind myself that I am doing a liner situation and I'm lining them with rhinestones, so we're covered. And I'm actually gonna bring that underneath the eye. It was hard to get like HD pictures, which I actually did not get, so I am working off of some guessing. But you know what, sometimes that's all you have, <laughs> so you deal with it. All right, next I'm gonna use this ColourPop palette. It's called You Had Me at Hello. And I think I'll start with this color. And I'm gonna put that in the crease. And I'm gonna like really be precise. I'm gonna use this brush. This is Tars Velo. <laughs> There's no brand. I'm gonna get like above the crease. So I'm kind of exaggerating it. I'm blending this out with Chanel number two. So I think the rest of this other Denona palette, this one, it's too like peachy for what we're doing here. So I'm actually gonna try a little this Hoola bronzer by Benefit. Again, like above the eye socket. We wanna like exaggerate the eyes and just kind of like drag it out. Every color that we're gonna do, we're gonna drag it out of the crease to exaggerate the eye. We're thinking stage people. And take it under the eye, but mainly in the middle, like into the lash line. 
kind of builds a little shape down there. And I am continually looking at my reference, in case you were wondering. All right, I have this Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. It's like a mini one in medium too. So I'm gonna dip into that a little bit with the same flat brush. And again, into the crease, but above. So like lean your head back and look down and start like in the middle so that anything you do, you can kind of drag it out, but most of the product ends up saturated right there. I find when I'm like using colors like this that aren't super intense or different than the skin tone, and I'm trying to like really carve a crease out, you'll know right away if it's gonna require like a lot of blending. Because sometimes if you over blend a crease, a cut crease, um, you lose the shape. So if you start small with like really subtle colors, you can really get that intense shape without needing to blend it out so much. All right, so, so far I'm liking where this is. Hers is definitely a bit more dramatic in terms of color but it is also hard to tell. So maybe if, if I just darkened up a little bit more. Oh, I've got just the thing. It's this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour definition palette. And it's got these contour shades. I'm gonna dip into this one. Again, super matte, not too dramatic, but let's see. It works out quite nicely for a crease shade. And then kind of like look forward for the dragging it out part. It just gives you like a more of a cat eye. Oh yeah, that darkened up real nice. Ooh, okay, this is getting this is getting good. Alright, I'm gonna take this little Chanel brush. Just bend it a little bit. I don't want to lose its positioning, but I wanna soften the edges. We'll just do one more shade. This one from the Natasha Nona palette. I'm gonna start with a pencil and just get like a little bit of a cat eye on. I'm gonna like get, start like three quarters out like here. Kind of just start like drawing into the lash line like that. I mean, I think the eye's probably fully lined. They used to love like water lines back then. So I'm gonna do in the water line too. We're getting real close and personal now. This part's like super ticklish, so if you have a problem with doing that, it's not the end of the world. So I know I said three quarters out, that just like where it gets a little thicker. This is Contour Shadow by Chanel, but you know, whatever you wanna do with him, no one will tell. And I'm like, just like smooth him out. And you're gonna wanna at this point, she's kind of like an angle like this. And the bottom part's gonna come up and angle out. You can do the bottom first if that helps you get the angle. How about on this eye, I'll do the bottom first. I'll show you how that works. So like, we're gonna want the angle to come up. So just have the brush help you guide it and keep like looking upwards to see how it's going before you go to town. So just let your brush guide you. All right, I'm gonna start drawing on the bottom. Take a brush like this like an angled brush and a pencil that's got like a good like mushiness to it. So I feel like she has a couple little lines going on. So let's just see if we can sketch out a couple of them. Like open here, kind of get that eye open. It's closer here. And out. Now I used pencil instead of a liquid or pencil straight on because I feel like it helps me like to sketch it out better without it being like there for eternity right away. You can like work with it a little better. And then this seems to be a little... I wanna get... Stop lifting tapes. These tapes like never lift but I did put them on after foundation today. That was probably a bad move. Just trying something new, don't do it. Her waterline is definitely lined on the bottom. 
I think like everyone did in the 90s. <laughs> you weren't somebody unless your waterline was lined. Oh, now she looks like she's got a white waterline. Let's do the other eye with a different method. I'm gonna try lining it with white and seeing if that looks better. Okay, so I'm using this Marc Jacobs. These eyeliners are amazing. I wish I bought them in every color because I think they're all being discontinued. They're like so bomb. So this is a ultra skinny fine liner gel by crayon. Oops, sorry, that was my mic. It's called Big Eyes. Don't my eyes look big? <laughs> so this time I think I'm just gonna like be brave and go to town with this. But this time we're gonna start on the bottom. But I'm also gonna try this sex kitten. Who doesn't wanna be a sex kitten? Line the top eye, water, let's tight line them first. All right, so I'm gonna use this, even though it's a different pencil. Line the top eye. I'm using the Chanel brush again. Don't be like too worried about it not looking perfect. You're going to still put on liquid liner and rhinestones. At times like these, when you want to recreate something, but you also have trouble finding the exact reference, don't worry about reinterpreting it and creating your own creation because, you know, that's a big part of being an artist. So like, I can't tell how many lines are happening. If there's two here or three, or if it's um, a sticker, and that's what's creating the, the look of a third line. So I'm just gonna figure out what I think is gonna look the best and make it beautiful. And that is going to be two dark eyeliner lines, a line on the bottom and a white in between. That's what I've decided. If you don't like it, fight me. <laughs> And I think by the end, I'll figure out which one I think is the best. <laughs> While I'm letting my eyes percolate, that's definitely not the right um, word I was looking for, but I'm going to do a layer of nude. So this is Clé de Peau in T9. It's a little mini lipstick. I'm just gonna apply it directly on my lips. Oh my God, that is really good. I was gonna like do layers and layers. All right, so we're gonna line the eyes. No me Malone style. This is Lancome. These amazing liquid liners. I mean, that's like popping. It also comes in purple. <laughs> I think it might be pretty though with the rhinestones on it. I'm feeling it, I'm doing it. Oh, I need to do the white. All right, so let's do this, do this. We're gonna use MAC Paint Pot White. Just add a little blue liner. And this is Lancome Art Liner 24. So we're just gonna dip, dip, dip it in and line that top before we add the jewels, etc. Add a little more, I'll add a little of this green one. If you are into liquid liners and you like bright colors that are highly pigmented and just apply like a dream, do yourself a favor. Lancome sent me a bunch of these years ago. These are called Art Liner 24 Hour. Highbrow, one of my favorite products. I want to lay out some of the face contour and the color. Um, and for blush, I'm going to kind of mix these two colors. This is Liberty by NARS. And this is, I want to say this is Melba by MAC. I've used it forever that the name has rubbed off, unfortunately. It depends on what I'm doing exactly. I like to either use 
a small round fluffy one like this or sometimes i'll go in with a larger fluffy like this so depends on like where i'm trying to concentrate the color on today i'll use one like this tap the like one part of it right about there to kind of just get some of it focused the color focus on one spot on the brush and so where i'm looking at her picture right now the color is focused here but it doesn't go above or below so a brush like this is good for that because you can really focus where you're going to put the product and it it really is just in this vicinity so i'm kind of going to smile and just swirl it around so i'll go on the other side and do the same thing all right, so I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna use this Givenchy lip liner. It's number three. It looks like this. I've had it forever. I love it. So her lip is like a frosty, delicious 90s lip. So I'm gonna start getting that shaped out. And the shape is like not entirely overdrawn. So I do like to fill in the whole lip with a neutral color like this. I'm gonna take this long comb eyebrow pencil and sable because these 90s looks were very like taupey and i'm going to kind of like underline this time you'll see start like this go like inside this line here so now i'm going to use a lip brush blend that contour out a little bit and I am having a premature lip situation. Sometimes I do things backwards. So this is an old product called Magma Explosion Glitter Lip Wax in Yellow Gold by Terry Mugler. I have hardly ever had the occasion to use it because it is very like 90s and 2000s and it's really cool. So I'm gonna try a little of this. Okay, it sounds. We're gonna be playing with a few things. So I have some old Aurora Borealis that I've been hoarding. My first choice would be this glue. It might be dried up though, but I think it was called like, obviously it wasn't called stone glue. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it was, it indicated it was the right choice. I'm just gonna squirt some out. Ideally we would have like a, there's like special sticks you use to do these. I don't have them. So we're in this together. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of that. I also have this pasty glue that I'm gonna hope is not dried out as well. I'm gonna curl the lashes. I'm using my Voluminous Primer. Hopefully this is gonna work. Here goes nothing. get glue on your stone over the top of it sparkly bit it will get cloudy and nobody wants a cloudy stone I do have to go to the grocery store <laughs> and I do think it will be hilarious because of the area I live in. I mean, I, I think I'm wearing like normie clothes and they're like, are you from Hollywood? See like that one has like extra clump. It's like, ew, it's not clean. So this is the glue that's ended up ending up working the best. And now I'm remembering I have used this before for a similar purpose, like for a photo shoot. It's pasty glue. It says Minor Creations, Okemos, Minnesota. Now I'm gonna do the top. All right, so these ones are gonna be a little harder. So on the top lid, you gotta go all tiny ones. My eyes open, but I'm looking this way, if that makes sense. So that my lid kind of stretches out. So when I look back forward, they're spaced correctly. I'm kind of going this way. Hey. 
I'm gonna put a lash on. So I'm thinking they're two seventeens. I don't have mascara on yet, that's right. Let's do that. If your lashes are like being weird, not looking right, take them off and try again. Or switch them out, because there's nothing like having a beautiful look that you just spent time on and then having a weird lash mess it up. No. Okay. These are the devil. I hate them. They look hideous and stupid and they're trying to take all my stones. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Bye bye, Satan lashes. We're gonna get a good old fashioned Mac. So based on this is the look, I have a lot of these glitter gels that we could use to do like the bits and the hair. If you wanna be like really extra, I would do this a lot more properly than I am right now, but I just wanna like give you an idea. I would probably mix this with, <laughs> with actual hair gel. So that you get a better a better effect than just this flaking off situation that I'm getting right now but you know you get the idea and I have this Kryolan aqua color liquid the sad thing is I'm not going anywhere so I'm just going to be showering this out <laughs> and it might not be that fun but I wanted to give like that, the glitter highlight effect, which is kind of like the look. If I did this more properly and gave like the actual intense glitter highlights, I think it'd be more effective, but you know. my showgirls makeup tutorial my showgirls no me malone recreated it's something i've been obsessed with forever let me know what you want to see next please subscribe to my channel <laughs> follow me on instagram and tiktok and all that good stuff hope you enjoyed it